In this session, we set up our first person controller player entity. Let's get to it. First thing we want to do is let's delete the cube. Then for our player, let's add capsule. So it's like a nice player shape. Bring them just a little bit above the floor. Now to have a proper player, he requires two special components. One is the collision. This allows him to interact with other objects. And then there is the, you must add, rigid body, which we're going to make dynamic, which will allow this guy to move around with physics. And I'm going to change some of these values only because I've played with them a little bit. So just feel free to follow along for now. Let me see. Uh, collision. I'm going to make this capsule shape so it matches the shape of the player. Okay, so I think that that's good. Next, I have a set of scripts here for you for, for first person controller. Oh, <coughs> excuse me, first person controller. We have a special script here for you in the scripts player directory. There is a FPS controller. So we're going to add that to this capsule. Uh, add components, script, and here he is. Oi! SPS controller. So now we've got the SPS controller inside. Ah, now, check this out. I want the FPS controller to be associated with the camera. So I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to put it inside of the capsule object, which is holding the FPS controller. And I'm going to reset its uh, position value so that it's... Uh, located in the center of the capsule, and I'm going to remove its rotation so that it's kind of like set here, so you can see, uh, basically have a player, and then it's got like a camera inside, right in the middle, right, so then it's like facing this way, right, the negative Z direction, and if you were to, uh, then, you know, mess that up, if we took the capsule, actually, let's rename this guy right here, Called player because that's what he's going to be. And if you move them around, let's keep the camera. You'll notice that, oh, you'll notice that the, let's lock that in there. But this sort of motion is the FPS controller motion that you're looking for. You know what I'm saying. Ah, okay, well, I almost don't want to tell you about that. Uh, okay, the next thing is that we want this person to be able to stand on top of the floor and not fall through him, so we need to give this floor some physics. So let's change this floor. So, I mean, it's plain and name floor, and then add the same thing, a collision, and a rigid body. The rigid body, I'm going to keep it as static because it's never going to move. But the collision, what we need to do is make the collision component match the, basically, the shape of the floor. So let's make this wider. As wide, I can tell that let's make it exact for, um, let's make it as deep as the other, as the other thing. And I'm going to make this really small, just so that it's just all enough to fit, right? So now we got it, right? Um, I believe that's, oh, you know what? You can see that the player, it kind of, you can see the floor, but not really. So you know what we're going to do? Let's color the floor while we're at it. So I have this directory for you, material, and I have a nice picture in there, floor tile diffuse, which is a nice picture on the floor. I'm going to create a material object inside here. Okay. I'm going to call this format, floor.mat. I'm going to set its diffuse to be the floor tile diffuse object, uh, image. 
I'm going to take the floor mat and I'm going to apply it to the floor. And now you can kind of you can see more details of the location of the player, right? Let's see it. Let's try it out. The play. Lo and behold, we have our scene. You click on the screen. First person control will take over. And you can swivel your head left and right, up and down. The FPS controller script manages all of this for you as well. WASD keys, W, A, S, D. And if you give it a shift with the WASD, you got like speed up, slow down. So, there you go. Congratulations. You have the beginnings of your FPS controller player. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next episode. I hope you found these videos useful. Want to keep watching videos like these? Hit that subscribe and like button below so I can make you more for free. Booyah!